Well, this is my ART-13. It's a World War II transmitter made by Collins. It's uh, really a really cool uh, transmitter. It was used in the uh, airplanes back then. Now I've got a D-104 hooked up to it. I amplified D-104. And I'll just basically uh, show you how uh, it works. Uh, these are your... Uh, uh, these three mechanisms is your auto tune for the RF stage and these two over here is for your frequency uh, basically a VFO and what you do is you set your channel up, up top here right now it's set at 2 and I think that's uh, 3085 and channel 3 is 3880. Now I'll switch uh, channels here, and this is what happens is uh, here at the frequency stage, all five of them, including the uh, frequency stage, goes to zero. And once it goes to uh, zero, they all retune to whatever setting you had these uh, programmed and how you program them is these little bars here you unlock those and then that uh, those the mechanism is unlocked and you can change uh, the uh, uh, turn those uh, mechanisms and once uh, it's all tuned you're ready to go and this I'll show you how it works I'll flip uh, the channel Flip that to 3, and I'm going to shoot down to the frequency, and it's going to run down to 0, because everything goes to 0, and then it retunes. Here it goes. As you can see, that red light, once it turns on, it's ready to transmit. And now it's uh, good to go. Uh, carrier is about 120 watts. And it modulates uh, peak envelope uh, about um, 550 watts. So really a cool uh, transmitter. This particular one was shipped from Washington State. And I'm located in Tennessee, so it had a long trip, but it come here uh, safely. So I hope you enjoy the uh, video, and uh, if you have any questions, just comment, and I'll uh, try to uh, answer. Hope to hear you on AM.